everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine, if you are new, and if you are not, welcome back. Thank you to everyone who has been liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. And shout outs to everyone who has been purchasing private readings from me. To purchase a private reading with me, the link is going to be in the description box down below, as always. And I am back with another pick a card for you guys today. This was a requested video from, I believe her name was Linda. So it's taken me a little bit to get it up, but I am doing this pick a card today on why people fall for you. So I have three items in front of me here. Pile number one is going to be the black salt. I just made this last week cause I ran out. Pile number two is the blue lotus. And pile number three is the star and Anais. So go ahead and pick your pile. I'm gonna have all of the timestamps linked in the description box down below for you guys as usual. And I will see you at your pile. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is gonna be your reading on why people fall for you. So you guys chose the black salt. This is commonly used for protection and absorbing negative energies. I'm gonna pop that over here and then we'll go ahead and start your reading. This is the intuitive card that you chose. So pile number one, it seems like Whoever you are romantically involved with or whoever you have been romantically involved with, you definitely leave a lasting impression on these people. So anybody who you've ever been in a relationship with still probably thinks about you. And it doesn't even have to be in a way where they want to get back with you per se, but your energy just has a long lasting effect. And this probably happens with a lot of people in your life, not even just romantically, just people who you commonly come across. You could even have like a lasting, um, first impression on people as well. You guys did choose the black salt for, like I said, absorbing negative energy or protection. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys have some sort of like healing energy to you. Why people fall for pile number one. Why do people fall for pile number one? All right, so you guys, yeah, you guys have like a really protective energy. Um, you guys could, and then when I say like protective, it makes me think of like mother and father. So you could really have like a motherly type of energy or like a fatherly type of energy if you are a masculine watching this to where whoever you love, you protect them deeply, whether that's by actually protecting them by being the head of household and taking care of home or whether that's just giving them some protective arms to come home from work and just lay into and then you have this healing sort of energy as well why do people fall for those who chose pile number one why do people fall for pile number one Ooh. Yeah, like a bunch of cards flip over. We're not going to take them all. How do people fall for those who chose pile one? Yo, why do we keep having all these cards fall out? I'm only going to take one from this deck. Okay, yeah, you have like this kind of majestic aura about you. All right, some people think that you're like a good luck charm or just I'm hearing like a um like an unlimited source of like light or an unlimited source of good energy so you could get a lot of people who want to be around you because they are looking to like feed off of your energy which is a negative thing sometimes especially if you've been dealing with like energy vampires or something but these people are really attached to your ashe why Ooh. <laughs> yeah most definitely um a lot of people want to kind of 
I don't know, this is kind of weird the way they're putting it to me, but it's almost kind of like a parasite and a host. And I know that sounds really, really bad, but it's just saying that you have like this addicting sort of energy that people like to be around. And it could be like a good thing, right? So some people could just know that you are higher vibrational. You have a really, really good energy. And so they want to be around you a lot, but you can, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe you guys have attracted like narcissists or something in your past relationships. Um, you could definitely be a healer if you chose this pile. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot cards. <laughs> we have the emperor when I split the deck. It could be a, fi um, a fire sign or that's that father energy coming through or that parent sort of energy. What makes people fall for those who chose pile number one? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Justice card. Ooh, you could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Eight of Swords. Look at all these swords. And then we have the Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. You are an excellent communicator here with the Queen of Swords. She really separates her emotions from her feelings. So although you do have this nurturing mother sort of energy, I feel like as you have grown in this lifetime, you have been able to heal yourself. So not everyone gets access to this energy coming out as the Queen of swords here you're good at cutting people off right and not letting them be a parasite on your good energy or try to use you as an unlimited supply for their own benefit here and this is why we have the justice card up next right it's the only major arcana card you have so you are a very very balanced individual you have a good balance of masculine and feminine energies and you have a good balance of giving your time and energy two people here with the justice card and you're also very very fair here the queen of swords she don't take no shit and with the justice card i feel like you might speak out for yourself and not only yourself but you might speak out for other people as well because the only thing that you really want is fairness and for everyone to have like a fair chance here with the queen of swords and the justice card so a lot of people fall for you because <laughs> you speak your mind you speak your truth you can be very intellectual as well coming out as the queen of swords and you have a very balanced fair energy so yeah you could be nurturing you could be cuddly and you could be motherly to some people but when it's time to get shit done pal number one you are definitely capable of doing that as well you could even have a profession in public speaking or do something that puts you like on a pedestal or online or something here with the queen of swords as well now, with the Eight of Swords here, um, I feel like you have a lot of people in their head here with the Eight of Swords because you have these two kind of balanced sides to you. Like, they don't know what they're gonna get when dealing with you. And I feel like it just really depends on how people come to you, how they come across to you, um, whether they get this Queen of Swords energy or this like Queen of Cups type of energy that I am picking up and feeling. All right, so with this Eight of Swords here, you definitely have uh, a lot of people knowing and thinking that uh, they could get it, right, if they come at you the wrong way. And it definitely keeps people on their toes here. Now, with this Page of Wands card here in reverse, people know that um, you have no problem cutting them off, right, with the Page of Wands. This is like a kind of like immature impulsive energy right this is somebody who could be very in and out of your life so with the page of wands why people fall for you and it's not to say they want to be in and out of your life or they see you as like this quickie sort of energy but i'm just thinking that this is saying that if they don't treat you correctly you'll give them this queen of swords energy and you'll be out of their life as fast as you showed up if they disrespect you okay pal number one 
now we have and then we have the sun card here right underneath we have the ten of swords in reverse so when you come across the people you come across as a very very healed individual someone who has pulled each and every one of these swords out of themselves and has learned from each and every past experience that they have encountered and this has brought you to a lot of happiness and a lot of clarity and truth in your life, right? People know that you're not coming to fuck around. You're not coming to play because you know who you are. You've been through shit. You've healed through shit. And if somebody is coming with like some extra baggage, um, you don't you don't have no time for it, right? You cut them off here. You're really clear with what you say. You're really clear with your intentions. And it definitely impresses people here. Pound number one. So let's go ahead and grab some Oracle cards for my pile number one. Mm, let's grab another tarot deck, actually. We'll grab another tarot deck on why people fall for those who chose pile number one. Let's see, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. People fall for those who chose pal number one. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Wands. And then we have the Star card in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, you have no problem moving on from the things that do not serve you. You cut off anybody who tries to use you in a sense or manipulate you with this king of pentacles in reverse because you have experienced this type of energy in the past here. You want balance here with this ten of pentacles in reverse. You could have had a really hard childhood or been through some sort of uh, family or money issues when you were younger that you have like finally balanced out here and this has brought you to stability to happiness here a lot of people <laughs> do fantasize about marrying you here with the four of wands but i feel like that you are not one who is easy to commit especially when it comes to something like marriage because you know that you deserve only the best and so you some of you who are watching this could still be single waiting on that perfect person this is why we have the star card here and it is in reverse a lot of people or a lot of even your past partners and stuff like that or people who come across you definitely hope to marry you but um you could be somebody who moves on from people right you could be somebody who only wants their soulmate their destined partner type of situation and so you move on from people easily all right now let's get an oracle day Why do people fall for those who chose power one? All right, we have chanting. So you could really be into your spiritual practice here, pile number one. You also could have a very nice body, be very put together here and really care about your physical appearance. I'm noticing that you're there on yoga mat, so you could be into yoga, could be into exercise, or just really into getting in tune with your body, with yourself, with source. And you could take your spiritual practice very, very seriously if you chose this pile. We also have connect with your wound. Not only is this motherly feminine type of energy coming through with connect with your wound, but this is all about the sacral chakra. So this is all about creativity. So you could be following your dreams, your passions. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the deck. We have sex here. So um, you got that good, good. We're gonna move on though. <laughs> Pound number one. Um, you leave a lasting impression on some people in the bedroom, okay? Y'all already know. I don't got to tell you. <laughs> Why do people fall for those who chose pile number one? 
Why do people fall for those who chose pile number one? We have loneliness in reverse. So yeah, you give them that comforting energy that makes them feel like they are not alone in this world. The people who you come across, it says, I know that I am never alone. So yeah, you are always there for people. And I feel like it's the people who treat you right, the people who are closest to. These are the people that, who you take care of. These are the people who you give your emotion and your affection to. Why do people fall for you? Those who chose pile one. And then we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I feel like you're a very, very grateful person. And being a very, very grateful person and being on this energy and vibration of gratitude, you attract abundance effortlessly. I feel like it's easy to get ungrateful for the little things in life. And you remind people about how they should be grateful for just waking up and existing on this planet every single day bottom of the deck failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so people who feel like they are failures i feel like you give encouraging words to see and right underneath that we have perseverance so yeah you let these people know that they can persevere through anything and it could be because you have had some failures in your life or some things that did not go in your favor and you were able to learn from this these type of situations and so you were able to give solid advice when people come and ask What makes people fall for those who chose pile number one? We have inspiration. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. So you inspire a lot of people here, pile number one, with whatever you are doing, with whatever you do in your life, with the obstacles you have overcome, with the adversity that you have overcome. You are definitely an inspiration to all of the people around you. And this is what makes them fall for you. We also have trust at the bottom of the deck. I am safe, I am secure in love, I trust my faith endures. And so that's going back to where I said you make people feel safe, you make people feel secure, you make people feel protected with that motherly or fatherly energy. And it really lets them know that they can trust you. You are not going to backstab them, you are not going to hurt them, you are going to be there for them, pal number one. And we'll go ahead and we'll pull one last oracle card for pound number one on why do people fall for them for my pound number one. And we have you were born with that it quality. All right, pound number one, you said what you said. You guys have something extra special about you, that it quality, you get shit done, you follow your dreams, and you inspire people. And that is why people fall for my pound number one. Hopefully you resonated with this reading. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number two. This is gonna be your reading on what makes people fall for you. You guys chose the blue lotus, which is really awesome for dream work. You can make this into a tea. It's very relaxing, it's very calming. So if you guys are trying to connect with spirit guides, ancestors, angels, source, your higher self, Blue Lotus is amazing for that. And it does turn the tea blue or purple. Oh, you could actually probably mix this with, with mugwort as well to go ahead and enhance that dream tea. So if you chose Blue Lotus, then some of you could be having really vivid dreams. You could be clairvoyant if you chose this pile as well. Now, when I tap into your energy, I immediately wanted to dance. So you guys could really be into dancing, really be into moving your body. Even if it's just in your room, you have a dance party, solo dolo. 
you guys have a really fun energy kind of bubbly you could probably identify like as a unicorn or something if you chose this pile so i'm gonna flip over your intuitive card and hold it to the camera so people are very very attracted to your outgoing sort of energy um and people are really attracted to how you are not messy and when i say that i just feel like you're really like ray charles to the bullshit like somebody could say something to you and you just do not let it ruin your day you know you say what you have to say you move on from it and you know you don't let it really get to you or lower your vibration you know you are just an all-around happy excuse me <laughs> I just burped. That was so gross. But you're an all-around happy person for the most part. <laughs> and you're a very, very humble person too. Yo, know, you could like animals if you chose this pile. You could really like animals and children. You have like a really youthful kind of like childlike spirit to you. Um, and you're a really, really humble person too. You could be like super beautiful and people could would imagine that you're like cocky or just like full of yourself or just like real uppity or whatever but you're not like you just have like i said this really kind of humble graceful elegant energy to you and it really draws people in and it really makes them fall for you here pal number two what makes people fall for those who chose my pal number two what makes people fall <laughs> for pile number two? Hmm, sorry, there's like a fly in my room. It's just driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> what makes people fall for those who chose pile number two? You have a really good ability to move forward in life, in your dreams, in your goals. Um, it seems like you, you are really, like I said, happy for most of the time. So you could be like a master manifester because you're such in a high vibration most of the time. Uh, your manifestations could seem to just like come through really easily for you. Um, and things kind of seem to maybe like fall in your lap. People could think everything that you touch can kind of turn to gold here or at least you know from the outside looking in we all have our struggles you know but uh for the most part anything that you seem to work on and dedicate yourself and your time to seems to flourish so you're definitely very goal oriented as well what makes people fall for those who chose pile number two yeah, you're very family oriented, very family oriented. You definitely trust your intuition. Yo, you could really like kids. You could want like a big family if you chose this pile or if you don't have any kids, you really are always like into like your nieces and nephews or just like anybody else's kids. You could be like a teacher or something like this. Or if you're not into kids, like I said, you could really like animals. Um, most definitely or maybe it's just the kid like energy i feel like you could play a game with a kid like hide and seek and you know as adults like sometimes we're not really into the game like we're just playing the game to be playing but like no like you're into the game like you're having fun right along with the kid and whatever you do for work it just seems to like i said it seems to flourish you could be very very stable here very very abundant but you don't like flaunt it you don't throw it in people's faces you don't try to make it known you're really it's a really really humble very very graceful sort of energy to you pile number two let's see why do people fall for my pile number two look at this we got the magician card it is in reverse we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. What just flipped over? Why do people fall for pal number two? Let's see. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. Give me one second, guys. That's my roommate. She's in the kitchen. Let me uh, let her do her thing, and I'll be right back. All right, pal number two. Sorry about that. I am back. Let's go ahead and continue on what makes people fall for you. We have the full card. And then we have the Knight of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we have the Empress card. She is in reverse. 
All right. So pile number two. Remember when I was talking about humbleness? So with this magician card in reverse, you guys are very, very beautiful people. You're very, very abundant people. But with the magician card in reverse, like you don't act like it, right? You could be really shy, really kind of to yourself. Although, like I was saying earlier, you guys could like to dance and just like do your thing. But it's just like the things that you have or the manifestations that you have received, I feel like you kind of keep them to yourself. You don't throw it in people's faces here with the magician card in reverse. You kind of just go with the flow. And with the four of pentacles in reverse, it's just like you don't let anything bother you, so to speak. You're not really holding on too tightly to anything. And this is why your manifestations flow so easily. This is why things work out so easily for you with this um, Four of Pentacles. Because this is like, you can kind of like change your mind. You can let things go. You could go with the flow. And then look at you. You're on to the next with the Fool card here. This is like, uh, like I said, a really kind of useful sort of energy kind of optimistic happy sort of energy you could really like to try new things really take leaps of faith and really like to switch it up um periodically here and with the knight of swords here you can do this really really fast like one moment you could be really into dancing and then the next moment you're just like okay i want to be an artist you know and try pottery or i want to move across the country sort of thing so it's just like you can really thrive anywhere and i feel like you could probably have a conversation with anybody and this is what makes people fall for you that you are so adaptable and you are so positive about life now we have the empress card in reverse here which lets me know that you guys are very very physically attractive and very very abundant but like i said you keep your little wins to yourself not everybody knows this about you and i feel like the people who are closest to or you're closest to knows this about you but like you just you don't put it out there for everybody to see. It's just like I said, I get this like real humbleness from you, pile number two. You could like to switch up your style a lot too, especially here with the full card. I'm talking like hair, outfits. I really feel like you guys could put an outfit together, but you know, you can like to switch up your hairstyles a lot. You could like to switch up your overall style. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Star card, beautiful. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Page of Cups, the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you guys aren't materialistic. So even if you do have a lot of money and you stack your bread, like you could literally like to go like thrifting. You could like not like designer clothes or anything like that. You could just like what you like and you know, that's fine um, with you. So just because you have like a lot of money or you're very abundant doesn't mean you have to go and spend it on like luxury items or luxury cars um, or anything like that. So I feel like even though you are very abundant, you just really kind of spend your money on the things that you like and not the things that are going to impress other people here. And even with your manifestations, you definitely nurture them. You definitely work on them. But in this card, to me, he is seeming to just protect his ideas, protect his manifestations, and just really protect his money tree here which is really what i believe is growing and so yeah like not everybody knows <laughs> you know how much you got in the bank like people would look at you and not be able to kind of tell just how abundant and vibrant you are so with this four of pentacles here in reverse and the star card here um this is just letting me know that you are definitely willing to invest in your dreams here and you have no problem 
spending money on the things that you absolutely feel like is worth it, which is amazing. Now, with this five of wands here in reverse, clarifying the full card, y'all just, like I said, y'all Ray Charles to the bullshit. You not about no conflict. You see how she's kind of just like oblivious, right? She got her headphones on. She's about to like walk off a cliff and shit, but <laughs> she's just kind of like in her own little world while everybody around you might see you as like competition or something like that but it's just like you don't even notice that because you are in your own lane like if there was a race going on you would be like off to the side building a fucking sandcastle or some shit like you're not even participating in that type of fuckery you are the definition of unbothered you guys are just unbothered and with this page of cups in reverse here like you're quick to move on from anything that does not serve you here with the page of cups like you could be like a heartbreaker too here with the page of cups because you're so quick to like cut off anybody who's just like not vibing with you not flowing with you who's just like not on your frequency pile number two and you can't be bought with money all right with this queen of pentacles in reverse you can't be bought with material things or just things like that it's just it takes more substance to get to you and this is really what makes people fall for you like you're not holding on to them you're not flaunting everything in in, in people's faces and you're just very very humble let's go ahead and get you some oracle cards what makes people fall for those who chose pile number two Two cards fell out. We have deep breathing and sound healing, but I'm gonna be taking these one at a time. What makes people fall for those who chose pile two? All right, we have abundance planning. See, yeah, you guys really plan your money. You really invest, you really save your money. And like I said, you can have like a lot of money and you don't even like flaunt it. Like people wouldn't even know. Like you just, you take note, right? You write that shit down. You put it in your bank account and you're just, you just do you. What makes people fall for pound number two? Y'all probably got, <laughs> this just came through. Y'all probably have a really high credit score. <laughs> it doesn't have to be though, right? That's not the end all be all. It just, it's, it really is what abundance is to you. But you guys to really be focusing on financial freedom at this point in your lives. What makes people fall for those who chose pile two? We have spend time with animals. Yeah, I definitely picked that up that you guys can really like animals or like I said, or even children. We have a journal at the bottom of the deck. You could be into writing, you could be into journaling and there is something going on with y'all eyes here that is very, very captivating to people or to like romantic partners. <laughs> All right, what makes people fall for pile number two? What makes people fall for pile number two? Let's see, we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So you're very, very proud of your accomplishments and very, very proud of yourself. I feel like you guys are really, really comfortable in your own skin here with pride. Like you don't try to, like I said, do things for other people. You don't try to impress anybody. You don't try to buy things to get attention or not saying that if you have luxury items it's to get attention of other people, but you know, it's just you're perfectly capable with impressing yourself and that's it is what i'm trying to say pile number two Ooh, we had too many cards pop over but i'm gonna take up oh, this is two i'm gonna put that back and we'll take the next one that pops out what makes people fall for pile number two and then we have forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love bottom of the deck we have trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly so you're very very trustworthy and people can trust you you don't give off the type of energy that you are going to harm somebody or you're going to backstab somebody with forgiveness like i said somebody could come across to you real negative and you're just look you on to the next you handle that situation 
that situation excuse me right then and there and you're just on right you just you forgive this these people not only for yourself maybe not even for them and you just you don't even think twice about it here with forgiveness you just move on <laughs> which is amazing because people be holding grudges okay like people got a lot of resentment in their energy and it really does create blockages but you just go with the flow like you don't let anybody lower your vibration right like how basically if anybody has a problem with pile number two you're just like look that's their motherfucking business like i don't got nothing to do with that like period <laughs> What makes people fall for pal number two? What makes people fall for those who chose pal two? We have courage. By shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. So you have a lot of courage in you, pal number two. Bottom of the deck, abundance. Goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. Look, y'all, y'all real stable. Y'all got the bag, okay, pal number two, but not everybody know it because you ain't trying to tell nobody. You don't want nobody to be in your business or whatever. I, I peep you, you don't, so you don't got to comment down below if you, you know, that you got the bag if you don't want everybody to know, but you definitely have the bag. <laughs> All right, whatever that is to you. Like I said, it doesn't have to be money, but you just are abundant in everything that you want in this life. So let's go ahead and grab one more Oracle card for those who chose pile number two on why people fall for them. For my pile number two. Why do people fall for those who chose pile two? we have prepared to be astounded yeah you don't let everybody in on like your secrets so when people like meet you and actually get to know you they know that you are this beautiful kind of humble individual but it's just like once they tap in right and find out everything you've done all of your accomplishments everything that you have they're just very very surprised that you act in a certain type of way um that's very very humble because not everybody acts like that so you guys are very very beautiful physically very physically attractive and very very humble on the inside so not only are you beautiful on the outside pile number two you are beautiful on the inside and that is why people fall for you hopefully you resonated with this reading i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number three. This is gonna be your reading and what makes people fall for you or why people fall for you. You guys chose the star and anise, and this herb can be used for so many different things to help psychic abilities, to good luck, to protection. It has a whole bunch of different properties, um, different things you can use it for. You can drink it in a tea, you can grind it into incense, you can make, you can do literally anything with this. So like, let me find out y'all trying to tell me that y'all the full package and you guys are multifaceted. But the first thing that I felt when I tapped into your energy is I heard, I don't know if you guys watched Twilight, but I literally heard Edward say, you are my own personal brand of heroin. So take that how you want to take that. But you have a lot of people who are addicted to you once they meet you, pal number three, with this energy. Now, check this out. Y'all smell good. All right, I don't know why I'm just getting that. You guys smell good. You could be really into like perfumes or colognes or just like your natural body scent kind of just pulls people in. Let's go ahead and flip over your intuitive card and hold it to the camera so you can see. Um, Yeah, you got some sort of like addicting type of energy going on here. Let's find out a little bit more about pile number three. Why are people addicted to those who chose pile number three? <laughs> I 
Okay, yeah. You're very, very different. People could pick you out like in a room. I feel like when you walk into a room, like heads turn type of type of like energy situation. You guys could be really physically attractive if you chose this power. Even even if you don't feel like you're physically attractive, I just feel like there's like a different sort of energy that happens when you come into the room. Um, you could be very, very family oriented if you chose this pile. You could care about family and friends a lot. Uh, I feel like you are probably an extrovert if you chose this pile, kind of like an open book. Um, you just seem like real outgoing and just, the center of attention type of situation if you chose pal number three. Even if you don't try to be the center of attention, you could just like go and you just, you know, you can just walk into a party and you could literally be like, all right, I'm just gonna sit in the corner, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna like sip on my drink and I'm just gonna mind my own business and then just like, people start gravitating towards you. You just like pull people in with your energy pal number three. Wow, God damn. Why are people addicted? <laughs> why are people, why do people fall for pile number three? See, I said addicted. You guys are really addicting. I don't know. I don't know what y'all doing or like what type of energy you got walking around here, pile number three, but um, okay. Like, <laughs> all right. So you guys, make people want to know more and learn more about you like somebody could meet you and they could have maybe like a five or ten second encounter with you and then they like already searching for you on facebook social media instagram something like that like if you're somebody's friend they're gonna call their friend after you leave the next day and be like dang who is your friend like you know they got social media or something like that you give off that type of energy here like really really confident sexy sort of energy why are people see look at this ten of cups you got the six of swords in reverse why do people fall for pile number three we have the moon card why do people fall for pile number three we have the three of wands in reverse we have the Eight of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so like I was saying, you could be very family oriented here. Really, really care about your family and your friends here with the Ten of Cups. But a lot of people really see you as their happily ever after here. A lot of people fantasize uh, about being with you here. A lot of people could even dream about you here with the moon card. And people could feel like you're very, very deep. I feel like... Um, you are like an open book and you can have like a conversation with anybody but you could be very physically attractive to where like when you open your mouth to say something people are just like damn and this person's smart too or like they know what they're talking about sort of situation with this six of swords in reverse i feel like you could have a lot of people who you have previously dealt with in the past wanting to come back to you wanting to or just like checking on you seeing what you're doing stalking your social media and you make a lot of people feel like they don't have a chance with you too with this three of wands in reverse and this six of swords in reverse you have a lot of people in their head about you pile number three so what makes them fall for you is really kind of like i'm hearing danger like sirens and stuff like that like i guess like the uncertainty of like you accepting them i don't even know if that makes sense i'm gonna try to describe it better um i guess what i'm trying to say is like if you've ever turned anybody down it really just makes them want you more if that makes sense hopefully that made more sense so i'm gonna grab a different tarot deck we're gonna clarify we are going to clarify these cards let me shuffle these On why people fall for pile number three i just heard high maintenance you could look really high maintenance you could look very expensive you could like finer more luxury type of things see we have the star card in reverse we have the king of wands of course 
Of course, pile number three comes out as the king of wands, all this fire energy. Let's see, we have the six of wands. Could y'all stop? <laughs> you know why people fall for you. Pile number three, this is so funny. All right, so why do people fall for pal number three? And then we have the chariot card in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. Y'all yeah, definitely got some fiery sort of seductive, sexy energy here going on, pile number three. Um, first of all, a lot of people can see you as competition or a lot of people feel like they have to be in competition with somebody else to get you. They probably feel like you have like a lot of people who want you and it really makes them want you more. But I feel like when people meet you and they get like a little taste, and when I say taste, it doesn't have to be sexual, but when they have just like the experience of interacting with you, pal number three, it definitely makes them want to uh, have you more, interact with you more. We have the star in reverse and we have the moon card here. You could have a lot of people who daydream about you, a lot of people who like really dream about you, and a lot of people who fantasize about like really having a family here with you. But um, a lot of people kind of see you as sort of like unattainable here with this star card in reverse. Now with the king of wands, look, we already know you sexy. We already know you confident, like you get shit done, you get what you want. Pile number three, um, regardless if that is from like another individual or just like your goals and your aspirations in life. Like I said, this goes back to you being multi multifaceted and just good at a bunch of different things. So you could be very physically attractive. You could be very, very smart. You could be very abundant, very creative if you chose this power coming up as the king of wands. And here is this like life of the party sort of energy. I was talking about earlier where people just gravitate towards you. Even if you try to, you know, stay to yourself, even if you try to hide it, like people just gravitate towards you. And then we have the six of wands here. So this is a success card. This is a victory card. Um, so you can be very, very successful in whatever you do. You could be psychic also if you chose this uh, this pile with the moon card, but I feel like you could even showcase your psychic gifts. That's gonna be for some of you. I'm just noticing how she's on stage and it's clarifying the moon card. So you could be like tarot readers or something like that. Definitely doesn't have to be. Um, or you could even perform, right? You could sing, you could dance. Like when I'm telling you power number three is like a triple threat, like what the fuck like <laughs> but with the six of wands people definitely see you as this is like my arm candy card too so people think that you'll look really really good on their arm or you guys will look really really good together in like a relationship with them but with the three of wands in reverse and the chariot card in reverse like i said like not everybody can interact with you not everybody could have you and it really makes them want you more you could turn a lot of people down or if not then a lot of people or whoever you talk to can think that you turn people down and it's it's intimidating like i said you, you give a really really intimidating energy but it kind of just like invites you in and it and, and it makes you want more like i'm just getting this smell like this really really inviting smell so you give me sort of even like a bad boy or a bad girl type of energy and you might not be a bad boy or a bad girl but it's just like you know people want to play with fire pal number three let's go ahead and grab some oracle cards what makes pile number three uh or what makes people fall for pal number three i keep wanting to say addicting like this is crazy what makes people fall for those who chose pal number three Make people fall for those who chose pile number three. Let's see, we have connect with the earth. So you could be really into nature. I'm just really, really being drawn to this rainbow color here on this person's um, like clothes or whatever. So you can really make a lot of people happy or bring happiness to a lot of people. You 
could, um, like I said, really, really like nature, really, really like forest or things like that. Um, but I just feel like you bring a lot of people happiness. You can really put outfits together as well. I'm just noticing, like I said, the outfit on this woman in this card here. What makes people fall for those who chose pile number three? could be an earth sign as well Taurus Virgo Capricorn and of course you could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius don't have to be though let's see we have spend time with friends so yeah you guys are very family oriented you like spending time with your family you like spending time with your friends spending time with people who you care about and um, people want to be in your friend group friend circle okay so like um both sexes or basically I don't want to say sexes because I don't want to offend anybody all types of people are attracted to you pound number three let's just say that and all types of people want to get to know you here I'm gonna pull one more of these cards what makes people fall for those who chose pound number three we have make an altar y'all could be a witch Okay, I said that y'all could be psychic or tarot readers if you chose this pile, but you could identify as a witch, uh, have some sort of spiritual practice. Some people could be wondering if you put like spells on them or something like that. Um, but yeah, some of y'all could have tattoos as well that kind of pull people in or very attractive. Your physical body is very, very attractive here. I'm being like brought back to the body. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have connect with your ancestors. So you guys are definitely in tune with spirituality here. So people fall for how spiritual you are, I guess, if that makes sense. Or just like some of like people are interested in what you do in your spiritual practices. All right, let's go ahead and grab some more Oracle cards for my pile number three. Yeah, y'all could really like nature because I'm also being drawn to the tree over here on this woman's chest. Something about y'all eyes as well is coming out. Um, pile number two had something about their eyes too, but your eyes like just, you could have really big eyes or you could have like colored eyes. Um, hair is sticking out to me as well. You could change your hair up a lot you could really just take a lot of pride in how you look okay I'm being shown hands nails you could keep like your nails done you could just appear like I said really clean and just really uh inviting and some about y'all smell some y'all smell real good y'all gonna let me know like what part like perfumes you wear in the comment section down below because uh, I'm trying to get like you. I have this one perfume that I wear all the time and I want to switch it up. So y'all gonna have to let me know. We had Blaine pop out. It says, I accept responsibility for my well-being, but it popped out with a whole bunch of other cards. So I'm only gonna take one at a time, but you guys can really just be responsible for, like I said, yourself, keep yourself up. You have no, you have no problem accepting responsibility for your actions here, pile number three. Let's see, we have denial. It is in reverse. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness here so you have a lot of people <laughs> in like denial about i guess just uh maybe like how you feel about them you keep people on their toes and then with also with denial in reverse like i said you have no problem you know really just like admitting if you were wrong or if you misunderstood somebody like you have enough confidence in yourself to say like oops you know my bad like I ain't even mean it that way and it's very very attractive to people because the hardest thing for people in this life to do believe it or not is to just be like yo I fucked up you know I'm sorry like I'm learning I'm human I'm growing but it just seems like you have no problem doing that which is absolutely amazing. Pile number three, you guys 
are very, very spiritually elevated if you chose this pile. And then we have failure. I, un I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And I, that goes right back to what I was talking about. Like, look, you don't take anything as a failure. You take it as a learning experience. You have no problem apologizing to people. You have no problem facing your fears and you have no problem picking yourself up and moving forward with failure here. We have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So yeah, y'all probably got like a real small circle. Everybody want to be in pile number three circle, okay? Everybody wants a chance to talk to pile number three here. And you have a lot of people, like I said, who fantasize about like having relationships with you or being in a relationship with you. But it really... Um, makes them fall for you just how you treat your friends how you treat your family and <laughs> like how they fantasize or i guess how they think other people you know want to be with you all right what makes people fall for those who chose my pal number three and then we have trust i am safe i am secure in love and trust my faith endures. You're a very trustworthy person. Look at this, psychic protection. Okay, y'all, y'all witches. Hey, hi, hello, sis or sir. Um, I don't know how you identify, <laughs> but it says around me now, a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold. So you can have a lot of psychic protection from your ancestors, the deities that you work with and, um, you know, you could be on the up and up right now, but people trust you. They trust in what you're saying. If you're a tarot reader and you got like a channel or something or you give people readings, they really trust you in your advice. Y'all are just really, really beautiful people here. Pile number three. Let me go ahead and choose one more card for this pile. Why do people fall? For those who chose my pal number three, it says, see me in their eyes. So yes, yeah, something about y'all's eyes are coming through. But with see me in their eyes, I feel like you can see the good in everyone. You have a lot of empathy and you can see source in all of the things around you, whether that be people, whether that be nature, whether that be animals, you can see the good in everything in the world. And bottom of the deck is that you have options is meaningful, rock on. So look, y'all know that y'all choosing and you can pretty much have, you know, anybody you want. And a lot of people <laughs> think that about you and it definitely draws them to you. Pile number three. All right, I get it. Y'all got it. <laughs> Y'all got that sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and end your reading here. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.